In this problem, we're being asked to add these two rational expressions, these two fractions. And we're going to follow these basic steps. We're going to make the denominators the same first, because you can't add fractions uh, unless their denominators are the same, by multiplying each of them by some form of the number 1. Then, once we've done that and we've got like denominators, we can combine the top and try to simplify. So the first problem is probably the most puzzling. How do you make a like denominator here? x is not the same as x plus 6 at all. You can't just multiply one side or the other by a number and make it work out. What you have to do here is a trick that always works in these situations. You take one fraction and you multiply it by the denominator of the other one over that, over itself. So I'm going to multiply this side by x over x, and I do the same over here. I multiply this side by x plus 6 over x plus 6. What that does is it gives us denominators uh, uh, for both of them that are x plus 6 times x. So that's our denominator. On the top, well, we've got, on this one, we've got 3 times x plus 6. I'm just going to go ahead and do that um, multiplication. Uh, 3 times x is 3x. 3 times 6 is 18. So that's the fraction on the, the left here. And the bottom, I'm just going to leave this sort of in this factored form, x plus 6 times x. It's not really any simpler to multiply it through, so we'll just leave it like that. So that's the left-hand side. Let's do the, the right-hand side. That's a little easier. On top, you have 4 times x, so 4x. And on the bottom, you have the exact same thing. You have x plus 6 times x. Now we have like denominators, so we can just combine the tops. So I've got 3x, a 4x, and 18. So that is 7x, 3x plus 4x is 7x, plus 18. And all of that is over x plus 6 times x. And I think that is as simple as we can make it. So that is how to add some rational expressions.